guys, so welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your January 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So uh, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, for the collective uh, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on my uh, YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is also in the description box below. Okay, so Gemini. Tell me about Gemini here. What's going on with Gemini and the person that they are connecting with in love? Tell me about Gemini in love and the person that they are connecting with for January 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. For Gemini. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse here. Okay, seems like you guys are overcoming some sort of betrayal here. Three of Pentacles. Maybe you guys are working something out with somebody here. Yeah, seems like there's some sort of issue that you're dealing with someone here that might be resolving here. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords here. Seems like the energy is really, 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 really heavy between you and this person here at this time. Just really stressful. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety here because I feel like maybe someone here has expectations that things can get better or things that will work out here, okay? Uh, the Sun card here and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. I, uh, so what's, happen what's happening here is that, uh, Gemini, I feel like you freed yourself from some sort of painful situation, some sort of stressful situation that you went through here. You realize with the Three of Pentacles, you try to work things out with this person. It might have worked out a little bit, but you feel like you felt out of place. Yeah, you feel like um, this is not a place that you want to be. And I feel like you just branched off on your own. You guys are single and happy and just really doing well on your own right now. Financially stable, independent, just happy, go lucky here. So I feel like you guys definitely overcame some dark times here when it comes to a relationship here, okay? Or when it comes to maybe like just uh, your life in general. Maybe you guys cleared out some some major karma here, okay? The Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Two of Pentacles here. The Three of Pentacles here and the Five of Cups here. There was a situation that I feel like you juggled and bent over backwards for somebody here to make things work, but I feel like you just feel very let down and very disappointed by the situation here. And I feel like you realize that, you know what, it's time to move on. It's time to let this go because it's not working out. The Seven of Swords here and the Eight of Cups. The Nine of Swords here and the King of Swords. Okay, this person really let you down here. Was very deceptive towards you. Lied to you here. This person was mean. You felt like you were walking eggshell with this person uh, person here. So I feel like, like I said, I feel like it was not an easy decision, decision to make because I feel like you tried everything that you can to repair, repair a relationship here, but it just didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. So I feel like you turned your back on this and moved on. Some of you guys could have physically moved away from this person here. The Nine of Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups. I feel like, you know, with the Ace of Cups here, you guys are ready for new love. You guys are ready to move on. You guys feel like you're, you've done the work to heal from this past situation here. I feel like maybe this has, uh, you know, this person might have sort of like crossed your mind, kind of like a blip in your mind here, but I just feel like maybe you just are looking back to see how far you've come here. But, you know, it could be an indication that this person that you dealt with here is not doing so well. Yeah. What else do we have here for Gemini? The person that Gemini is dealing with, thinking of what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini for 
January 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Six of Swords and the Four of Cups. Four of Pentacles and Six of Cups. Ugh, whoever this is, I feel like this person definitely has a hard time letting you go. Yeah, this person doesn't want to let you go. I, I feel like this person has never been able to let you go. Some of you guys might have been separated for this, from this person for a year or two or even three. The Magician here, Gemini, Virgo, and the Judgment card. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person is definitely wishing and hoping for a reconciliation here. They're definitely putting it out there in the universe, trying to like, you know, make this happen here. But yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person has never been able to let you go. This person is still in love with you. Yeah, this person definitely wants another opportunity here with you. The King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. The uh, Four of Pentacles and the uh, Nine of Cups. The uh, Six of Cups and the High Priestess here, Cancer, Pisces here. Uh, whoever this is, this person is definitely still in love with you. And I feel like this person is still like definitely trying to telepathically connect with you. I mean, some of you guys could be feeling it. Yeah, you're feeling the connection here. But, you know, with the Three of Swords and the Magician here, I do feel like this person definitely wants to make things right here with you. Yeah, they're really confident that they're putting this out there in the universe and trying to make this reconciliation happen here. Uh, yeah, this person's definitely looking for another chance. I do feel like this person really broke your heart, but like I said, I feel like you've really overcame this. You've healed from this. What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on for January 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini, for Gemini. The higher fit in the your swords here. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is ready to do right by you. Higher fit Taurus energy, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. I do feel like you've been separated from this person for a very long time, and I feel like this person has a lot to say to you here. Page of Pentacles, Capital Torn, Taurus, Virgo, the Ace of Swords here, and the Two of... I really feel like they haven't been able to let you go. I just feel like this person's still in love with you. This person's still in love with you and they feel like this person's definitely kind of like, you know, really accepting the truth here and they feel like this person wants to speak their truth to you. The Hierophant and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Knight of Swords here, and the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person has changed a lot. Uh, all the kings is the embodiment of the emperor here. So I feel like this person's definitely ready to step up to the plate here. And I feel like this person really wants you. Yeah, with the knight of wands here and the king of wands, the page of pentacles here, and the queen of cups, cancer, scorpio, pisces, the six of pentacles here, and the chariot. Yeah, you know, I just feel like you're going to turn your back on this communication or, or whatever offer that they're giving you here you know i feel like you made this decision a long time ago and i feel like you're not going back on this decision here because i feel like a lot of you guys are definitely doing really great here uh the screen card and the ace of swords the two of cups here and the four of swords here yeah you're definitely like sort of like really disengaging from this situation here you know i feel like you feel like you reclaimed your power here but yeah i just feel like this person hasn't been able to let you go so Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.